Hello and welcome to Tourist Testing. Another fine day here up in the fall uh, in Sweden. Uh, it's lovely weather, 10 degrees, and the trees are just uh, wonderful and it's just fresh and lovely weather. Um, today we're going to test a Mora Garber knife, the multi mount. This is the, this is it. Uh, it. It's actually their first uh, full uh, tang knife. Um, Garber it's called. It's a wonderful knife. This is the multi mount version. I'm gonna go back to the sheet here. Uh, <coughs> this is, uh, as you can see, an excellent and well done knife. It has a slight drop point and a Scandinavian grind. It is uh, 109 millimeters long. Uh, the blade is, and it's all uh, 229 millimeters long. And the weight of it is 272 grams. I believe that would be with the sheet. The thickness of the blade is 3.2 millimeters, so it has a nice thickness to it. And the steel is 14C28N. Doesn't say much, but it is uh, a stainless steel. Now, Mora doesn't uh, say a whole lot about uh, which kind of uh, how hard uh, the steel is and, and the composite of it, but um, this is it. As I said, it's full tang, the first uh, Mora, uh, which is a full tang. Um, and um, well, yeah, that's about that's it about the knife. You have a, a polygamy handle here, it's a nice fit here, and you have a nice uh, hold to it, as you can see here. Okay, getting back to the sheet. Now this is uh, quite interesting because it's a multi-mount. This means that there are different kinds of uh, system for it. As you can see here, you have a, a standard uh, sheet, plastic sheet from Mora. This will not go out um, in any how uh, and can be drawn quite easy. But <coughs> then you have different components. You have this, uh, uh, obviously it's a belt mount. You can just click it on. And you have this multi-mount. Now, the multi-mount is a system where you can put it in here, like this. So, and then you have another uh, hold here. This is much like the one uh, used for the Eldris, if you know this. It's just uh, mounted like this, up here. It, is, it clicks on, and then goes up like this, around like this. See, it's actually not that hard and you tighten this one, and you close this one here, and you have a multi-mount. Now this can be attached to any Mullen system, or it can be attached to your backpack, like this, or any which way you like it. It's an excellent system, and uh, all of these accessories is, uh, comes with it. So <coughs> it's, uh, well, like I said, this can be attached any which way you like. So that's, uh, I think that's a very nice uh, idea and a very nice system. And uh, as I said, it can be uh, transformed to anything. And actually it's quite easy to get these off. I have been walking around with this belt loop on here because I'm just in my camp. But uh, as I said, it can be used any which way. Notice this little system here. I don't know if you know what this is. This is actually for most uh, military pants, at least in Scandinavia. You have a bottom on the side of your pants, uh, exactly for things like this. So you take this into uh, the bottom and just let it go, and it will sit uh, nicely uh, on this uh, bottom on the pants. Just a little feature that they have. Okay, that's about it for the introduction. See how this uh, baby does at some uh, batoning and chopping. Let's start with chopping here. Let's see, we have a piece of birch here. Actually, it is half cut through, so it probably will be divided in mix. But 3.2 millimeters is quite a good uh, size for a knife and should be able to uh, split these, this piece of birch like with no problem. Okay, let's try this piece, try a piece of dry pine here. Those are always a bitch, these pieces of pine, because they are so when they are dry, they get really hot to get through, but as you can see, it really had no, not much problem with it. Just need to go through. A wear is there. So that's it for some, uh, some uh, batoning. As you can see, that was no problem. Uh, let's see how it does at chopping. And 
Now this is not the heaviest knife, but it has a quite uh, big uh, blade, so you should be able to uh, chop regularly. So let's see how it does here at this piece of dry birch here. As you can see, it actually takes quite good chunks, but not. It will take some time to go through a piece of bird, dry birch like this. But it's manageable. Manageable, I think it's called. As you can see there. Um, it would probably also be uh, easier if I used uh, baton chopping. That was actually it for the uh, chopping and batoning. Okay, now uh, for carving or stitching or feather sticks, what you wanted. Um, now this is, has been an excellent knife to work with. As you can see here, it goes easy and well in this dry piece of birch and it makes the most beautiful feathers. Actually, I think may, this may be the easiest knife I have been doing feathers with at all. Look at this, it makes, makes them in all sizes. Also the walls, small ones. And another uh, nice uh, thing about this um, Moragaba is that they have, uh, they have uh, prepared it for a very sharp 90 degree back. Now I love this because I always use my fire sticks when I make fire, but it's also a great idea or great use when you make the small things for when you need to make a fire. Look at this. This was only for a couple of times. I think these bags here, when they make them bags as sharp as this, is excellent. And this is excellent fire starter from a birch. I'll make use of this in a while, uh, in a bit here when I make a fire. And as you can see here, I just made a, a fast feather stick here and it was easy and fast to make. Great knife at carving and this on. Now, <coughs> for the project of today, uh, it's actually quite a big thing, but I'll just get it here. Uh, I saw this on the internet. It's a fishing spear. Now, I'm, uh, I don't have an, a very good place to use this fishing spear nearby. Um, but uh, the idea of this is um, to uh, go by a stream or something like that and then uh, uh, get the fish inside here and punch it in here and these two will bend out and uh, keep the fish in. Uh, I made this, uh, this is the first time I made a fishing spear and it was actually fun. It was uh, easy with this knife uh, actually uh, and it is uh, birch uh, for these three uh, parts and it is willow uh, for the handle. Now uh, <coughs> It has actually been fun to make, but I think if I should make it again, I would make it a big bit more flimsy. Actually, my wife said, what kind of fishes are you going to fish with this? Are you, is it crocodiles or what? Because <laughs> this is actually quite large uh, and a trout or anything like that you could fish in a stream with this is much smaller than this. So you could make this much smaller and uh, more uh, flimsy or what you wanted. An excellent fun uh, bushcraft project where you uh, get to get through all your skills at carving and uh, a fun thing to make. Okay. okay, let's see if we can make a fire here. I have some birch here and uh, I'll just scratch it up here like this. It should be easy with this. Let's see, take a look at this fire steel I've gotten myself here. That should be through a single or two. Okay, okay. Let's see how it does at uh, this. Um, we have the birch here, and oh yeah, <coughs> that went easy. And uh, actually, we could make fire this fire stick up here, and um, we have a nice fire. I'll just cut it off here, so I can reuse this piece of birch another time. 
but see I actually make uh, you make a torch with this around the birch and you have a torch here and this will actually be very easy to uh, light up um, and it will go long time and um, with this you have a you have a nice uh, match okay <clears throat> that's it for the um, uh, for the lighting and, and the practical use and I will sum up or at the uh, at the knives okay, to okay. sum up uh, on this beautiful afternoon in Sweden I've been testing this uh, Mora Garbea uh, it has been an excellent knife now this uh, I've said it before and I said it many times I love all of my knives but this will actually be one of those uh, knives that um, will be in my uh, it would be in my camp sack uh, when I go out there or uh, when I am on my campsite. This is an excellent knife, I just love it. It has been working excellent at uh, carving project and bushcraft project and I, I just love it. The price of this uh, is $130, I think, around, just around that, uh, with this multi-mount uh, sheet. And uh, this makes it excellent for, yeah, well, everything. Uh, uh, every which way you want to uh, to wear uh, this knife. I can only recommend it. It's one of the best uh, knives I've had and it's definitely the best Mora knife I've ever tested. So <coughs> that's about it. Let's go through the knives quickly and remember all of these knives are on my YouTube channel and can be seen in there. Now we have the F1. As you can see it has been used. It's because my younger son uh, actually really likes this knife mostly because of the handle it's easy for him to hold on to and it won't slip his hand anyway we have the Enzo Elder we have the Mora Bushcraft we have the Caraswando there's the dog go away <laughs> uh, we have the Caraswando hatchet we have the M95 uh, from Pendleton we have the A1 from Feltnion we have the Terra V140 we have the Holter Force um, we have the Danish uh, replica of a Viking knife, we have the Danish Vangdale, we have the Finnish Enzo Trapper, we have the, another Karoswando, then we have a Danish Miller Blade, um, we have the Light My Fire Mora knife here, and we have the first Jack Kit, Jack Kit Koen V2, remember I used the three last time, uh, we have the Klaestrøm FG, um, uh, FG Forest knife, we have a Maritine Lynx, we have the uh, Eka, Nordic uh, WV12, we have the Beast of the um, Terra A, uh, the Skarma, then we have the EKA um, Axe Blade, and last time we did the um, another Yakit knife, uh, this time the AK2, uh, KNV2, and this time the Mora. Next time, I've I have threatened with this before, but next time I'm gonna do this. Um, it is from Strömming and it is a classic um, it's a classic uh, Lapkniv uh, so I've been using this uh, knife for well 20 years or something like that so um, this, um, this is my own and this is uh, one I'm gonna test next time so be sure to stay tuned for that and until next time be sure to subscribe, sub shares and all the other subs and I will continue to enjoy the weather up here in Sweden see you Thank you.